My name is Jason Bowers. I am a camper advocate. I have been a teepee counselor and a stilt teacher and a clowning teacher. And I started coming to camp when I was 11 years old, which was 15 years ago. Right now I'm a fifth and sixth grade math and English teacher in New York City in a private school. But I'm a classroom teacher because of the work I did at camp. I was a philosophy major in, in college, didn't really know what I wanted to do, but knew that in any context I would find working with young people really satisfying because of my years and years and years of being here. I actually tell this story to kids on fire circles or when they were in my teepee that there was this kid named Penguin in my teepee, or at least that was his camp name. And I thought Penguin was a really cool kid, which meant that I was terrified of him. I thought that we would never be able to be friends. Of course, Penguin wasn't thinking about any of this. And one night, I believe it was the first or second, probably the second fire circle night, which was Saturday, we ended up on the same log together and Penguin just fell asleep on me. And that was the moment when I sort of started realizing that what I thought about other people, how I saw them and what I thought they thought of me was not really the case. A little later in that session, I found myself just walking through camp and someone who I didn't even really know asked me to come over and unicycle with them, knowing that I couldn't really unicycle. And I kind of started to realize, oh, there's these people that I barely know and that I've been so worried about, but they just see me as someone at camp, kind of a friend. And that, after that first session, I really started to relax into things and, and pretty soon camp kind of became my barometer for whether I felt good with people and with situations outside of camp. I think that I had a lot of faith that at every stage from being a camper to an oldest camper to a teen staff that there was always a community that was there for me and it would be new and it would be different but it was looking ahead to those communities it was oh I want to be an oldest camper or oh I want to be a teen staff I want to know what that's like I want to know what it's like to have those friendships and relationships and a different way of working with counselors once when I was a teen staff um, I got to work with a counselor who had been my improv teacher for years and years and years. And it was amazing to me the way that he treated me as a, as a coworker. After I had seen him as an adult and an authority figure for years, he was willing to put me kind of on the same level as him. And that gave me a lot of faith that, that I would be recognized and seen Unlike other strictly drama camps, the kinds of performances we do are... We're willing to put things that are works in progress on the stage. We're willing to put kids that are not perfectly skilled at things on stage, and it really changes what it means both to be in a performance and to watch one. And there's a real distinct sense of togetherness that I think happens because those performances are so open and so welcoming. What we think a lot about here that isn't thought about enough in schools is as adults who have power over children, what is the, the just way to exercise that power? And that is a question that I always want to ask myself in my classrooms and, and try to get the schools that I work with to ask as well. I think Util talks a lot about having voices heard and, and listening to everyone's story. And I think that we never we never welcome a kid thinking that we know the best way for them to be here or what is gonna be the very best way to help them. We always, I think, really take that time to meet each kid where they're at. And that philosophy is what allows us to actually bring people together from all different backgrounds, people who have not had an experience like this before. It's because we don't assume that our, what we've been doing or what we think we should do is going to be right and we always really try to build a relationship and understand their story. Awesome. I feel good. Cool. Yeah, thank you so much.